Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to DM Paints. This is Dea and in this video we are doing a 24 by 36 alcohol ink artwork on synthetic paper. So this artwork was actually inspired by an artwork that I did in my previous video, which was a mixed media piece where I used mainly alcohol inks with some acrylic inks and some embellishments. So I'm going to be walking you through the steps today of how to embellish your artwork with acrylic inks, as well as some gold leafing, which I didn't do in the last one, but I do it in this one and it just brings your artwork to another level when you're able to embellish it. So as you can see in the corner right there, that's the piece that inspired this one. However, it did not turn out the way I expected it to, which is totally okay. Um, looking back at this video, honestly, I really love the way the colors were blending. Aside from some parts where the colors mixed too much and it looked a little mush. But I don't know, I'm kind of control freaky sometimes and it's not what I envisioned. So very soon enough, you'll see me scrapping the entire thing. I think this is where I feel like I messed it up when I went in with the gold because it kind of just sat in place, it didn't move in. Although I knew that the gold does that because it's a metallic and it's heavy and it sinks, I did it anyways, I just really forced the gold and then I was like, why did I do that? So anyways, here's me wiping it, wipe, wipe, wipe. And I basically created a blue base for myself, which was gonna be the base of my next concept, which was kind of like an abstract oceanscape type vibe. So I wanted to use a little bit of uh, teal, which I actually didn't have, so I used the rainforest green, as well as sapphire blue. So sapphire blue is what I'm pouring with right now. And my first tip when working with large alcohol ink artworks is to use Dixie cups to pour your alcohol inks into and mix it with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. This way you can just pour in large sums as opposed to using maybe like a needle tip bottle or something small, which is just gonna take you forever. My second tip when working with large artworks, especially if you want to cover the entirety of the surface, is to wet the entire surface and prep it with isopropyl alcohol. I personally use 99%. I use this in all of my artworks. The best thing that you can use is 91 to 99, and I talk about that in my beginner alcohol ink video so you can go check that out if you have any beginner questions and yeah i added white alcohol ink which can behave quite strangely sometimes and it does settle really quickly that's why you'll see that i have some chunks especially in the middle that are like solid white so i can do a completely different video on how to use white to mix your inks but um it's something that i actually recently started getting into a little bit more i never used to use white because i just thought it was so challenging and i avoided it in all but honestly if you kind of master or not even master but just figure out in your own way like how the white works for you and how you can make it look good like you can get these really beautiful light pastel colors so i really do encourage you to uh experiment with white my third tip when working with larger artworks is make sure that it's secured make sure it's secured to something whether it's the floor or the table or whatever because you don't want those edges curling up like the way they are on me and if they are at least you know be mindful of that and push it down with your hand or i'd like to keep a paper towel handy because if the inks are coming back at you because there's so much alcohol you don't want it to ruin a portion of your artwork that you've already completed because alcohol will completely reactivate dried ink like in a heartbeat okay So now I am going in with my acrylic ink. So these inks I'll link down in the description bar below. They are both from Michaels and I'm just using a random little paintbrush for the detailed pieces. When embellishing my artwork, I like to just go over certain pieces with the colors that are already present in the artwork. So I tend to embellish simply to accentuate as opposed to adding in maybe like another layer of colors and making it busier. I just want to enhance what is already there.
A great thing about acrylic ink is that you can wipe it off if you don't like what you've done, just like how I did there. I went in with my finger, but if it's a little bit drier, you can just take a wet paper towel and wipe it off like that. Because alcohol ink is alcohol-based, it's not going to affect the ink. So I only used blue, white, and gold to embellish this piece. So blue and white in acrylic ink, and for the gold, I used an oil-based metallic gold pen. The oil-based pen does not come off like the acrylic inks, and that is why I leave it for last. You just want to be mindful of where you are putting the gold because it comes off with alcohol, and so obviously that would ruin your piece. So the last thing that I'm going in with is my gold leaf. So this is the champagne colored gold leaf. I'm also using Elmer's glue and I'm going to be showing you how I apply the gold leaf onto my artwork. So you just want to be careful with the gold leaf. It is very, very delicate. Just be mindful of that when you are working with it. Make sure your hands aren't sticky because it's going to stick right onto your hands. And yeah, we're just going to be applying it in certain places to accentuate and just make it pop even more and give it that mystic beautiful feel. So the first thing that you want to do is go in with your paintbrush with a little bit, just a dash of the glue on top. And then you just want to apply your gold leaf on top. That's about it. I go in with a makeup brush that I purchased from the dollar store. I prefer this over my fingers because it gets the gold leaf onto the artwork and presses it in a little bit better without dispersing it too much, if that makes sense. Like it looks like one bigger solid piece. If you use your fingers, you kind of end up breaking the gold more. It looks a little more scattered. So it kind of just depends on what look you're trying to go for. You can experiment with both. Do not lay down too much glue because it's just the drying time will be insane. This is the final artwork. I love it so much. I'm definitely going to be creating a lot more larger pieces. I think it just allows me to express more of what I want to say and what I want to create. And you'll definitely be seeing some of these larger pieces in the future to come. So this is currently being featured on my Instagram. So if you have any questions about it or any other artworks, you can definitely shoot me a message. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.